In this exercise, we're going to take a look at how to use Sapphire's Film Damage plugin to make a video clip look like archive film. There are presets that will do this, but that will be for another tutorial. We'll start with this show jumper clip. Open MLT Effects, select the plugins process, then the Sapphire Stylized collection, then select Film Damage. As you can see, a base effect has been applied, but it's not very visible and it doesn't look realistic in its current state, so we need to do a little more work on it. The Film Damage plugin has an extensive menu. There are 12 pages of editable parameters covering film grain, hairs, scratches, dust, vignettes. In fact, lots of different styles of archive film can be achieved, but we'll create a basic look for now. So, we've started with the default settings, and for this look, we'll simply make it black and white. On page 2 of the menu, that's the P2 tab, bring down the saturation value to 0. There are lots more colour correction adjustments that can be made, either within the plugin or by using the MLTFX colour process, but for now we'll just use saturation. That looks better, but the footage still looks like video with an effect applied. Since video is field based, we need to deinterlace the clip to give it more of a frame based film look. There's a plugin to do that, it's called VDS Deinterlace. To add another plugin, we need to add another process. Select the plus icon next to the MLTFX menu, then select plugin. This time, scroll down to VDS. VDS are the company that write the emulation software that enable third party plugins to run on the Quantel platform. Select deinterlace, then there's a further choice as to whether to duplicate or interpolate the fields. In this case, we'll choose interpolate. We now have two plugins applied to the clip. If we render this and play it back, we have a quick basic archive film look. Now, if we want to really push the effect, there are a few more parameters that can be adjusted. If we take a look at the film damage menu again, there's grain, which adjusts the amount of film grain that's added. Stains and dust, which adjusts the amount and type of stains and dust on each frame. Hairs, adds hairs stuck in the gate of the projector. Scratches, applies scratches on the film on each frame. Shape can help create a film roll. And there's a vignette to darken the image towards the corner and sides. Or you could use the vignette plugin. There are also other parameters like flicker and defocus that simulate projector problems. So let's render this version of the clip. And we see when all these values are increased together, a more extreme archive film look is created. So adjust each parameter to suit the type of style you're looking for. OK, that's it for now. In another exercise, we'll be looking at how to use the GenArt Sapphire FX Browser application to load presets.